Alright everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and watching the previous videos if you have. If you haven't, go ahead and go check them out, otherwise you'll be a little bewildered as to where I am or what I am doing. Currently, I believe I am on my way to Diamond City to either find Sean there or find more information about him. Whoop. I should probably click the right thing. There we go. Go to Diamond City. So, just gotta head down this main road here and just keep her going, you know, till I get there. <clears throat> the road's probably gonna be treacherous, but I have power armor and hopefully it lasts me the whole <laughs> till I get there. Hey! Trash can Carla. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Let's see what you've got. I have a little bit of everything. All right. What do you got? She doesn't really have much. Nothing I'm interested in. She looks like a traveling trader, though. I'll probably see her at later levels. We had a deal, too. Hand over the good. You owe I ain't giving you poison shit and tempers with anything. Ten chunks done to my boy. We bought them fair and square. Ain't our fault. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Mr. This doesn't involve you. You better lower your gun or else it is. You stop waving that gun in my face. Why does it keep spinning me around like that? Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, alright? Oh. Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on here? That's a simple business. I tried reasoning. Want to make some easy money? Oh, I didn't mean to skip all that. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Okay. My bad, everybody. Hey. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. And peacefully. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right. I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Sounds good. Let's check on the sun. Never take a hit of Jet again, I swear. <coughs> itching, just itching all over. Hi. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? You gonna be okay? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems. But we'll make it. We always My guy turns around yeah, to talk to people to like he's the protagonist of an anime or the villain. I'm not really sure. I'll take a look, sure. All salvage. But nothing's done. <coughs> General Chow's Revenge does more damage against robots. That seems severely situational. 
I was hoping I'd run into somebody with either 5mm for the minigun or <clears throat> some fusion cores or something, but I'm not seeing anything. Cosworth, let's get out of here. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. <gasps> here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to You're a traitor too? Sure. Let's take a look. You got needs. I got product. Oh, uh, cool. drops every time I hear that. There's a lot going on over here. Oh my god. Hey you, leave my Codsworth alone. Hey, I leveled up. Look at that. Let's see what I can do. Two levels. Oh, snap. Quick save. Man, Cosworth is just cutting up fools out here. Look at that. I'm going to loot them all. As you saw back there, I got Nerd Rage and uh, Big Guns or whatever. I, uh, I'm i aware of Bloodied Builds in Fallout 76. I want to see if I can bring that over to Fallout 4. Uh, I want to be a Bloodied Power Armor Heavy Gunner. It's going to be amazing. flipped over. This looks like, what is that, a smart car of this time? Looks like an oversized Hot Wheel. Is, is there a ghoul inside of here? I don't, there we go. Yep. Man, this is one hell of a battle. This is a lot of ghouls. 
Hey, it's another guy in power armor. Look at that. Speak to Paladin Dance? Daily income received. 50 caps. Heck yeah. His power armor looks so much better than mine. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? You know, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local? Listen, family? man, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, uh, I might be slightly psychotic. Dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Agreed. The more we know, the better we may assist. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors. The signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? This guy is giving me Buzz Lightyear vibes. Brotherhood of Steel. Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans, and we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few outside the Brotherhood who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So. What do you say? Will you help us? I will, but to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. I'll come back later to do it. <laughs> I was just doing this on my way to Oh, I forgot I'm still connected to the frequency. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. I'm not ready right now. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to Diamond City. Alright, so this road I think is the straight shot. Yes. Alright. Call to arms, speak to Paladin Dance fellow power armor user I'm running real low on 10 millimeter I might have to start using something else here soon I wouldn't mind using the minigun if I can keep myself from just blowing through that ammo then that would be good Where's that coming from? That subtitle. Hmm. Hey, it's a little barge. Look at that. Wreck of the USS Riptide. I'm going to quick save. Is there anything down here? Oh. Crap. Well, I 
S12. Dang, the bullets feel impactful. That's kind of cool. I am so far. I don't know if I'm actually going to use that shotgun, but I figured I'd take it just in case. Oh! Ammo. I didn't know there was another, uh... Oh, I forgot I had the laser musket. I didn't know that there was going to be another guy on here. He just got killed by his own mine. What a loser. Raider power armor torso. I don't particularly have a use for this stuff because if I'm not mistaken, it's actually worse than T-45. But I wouldn't mind collecting it for the heck of it. Hey, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Sweet. An ammo box. No! Yes! <laughs> hey, some 10 millimeter. Look at that. I'll probably use it whenever I run out of shotgun shells. I'm gonna save. Oh, I've only got a quarter left of my fusion core. No. In that case, I've really gotta hurry and get to Diamond City. I'm gonna put my gun away because supposedly you move faster with your gun put away, and it's probably true. I hear distant warfare. Whoa. I'm just going to keep going to town. Open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. I just got here, but yeah. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. 
Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Yeah. What I need's in there. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Oh, I leveled up again. Great day in Diamond City. <laughs> Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I support news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Right, no, Codsworth. I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great. Of course, he wouldn't be a mayor without pandering to everybody that happy, he can. A fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise. All right? <laughs> You're full of it. What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies, and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth, <laughs> <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? Trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Who can help? A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Sounds good. <laughs> Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Uh, oh. Oh, this is a gutsy move. I wasn't, I wasn't lying. lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now, anyway. <laughs> it failed. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, time to go in. Yeah. That Nick Valentine guy sounds real promising, though. Who knew that there would be detectives in the wasteland? Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Hey, that's her little sister. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. 
Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> Newcomers, if the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The institute. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone, and we all know why. Hmm. So you better be careful, newcomer. The institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, that's freaky. All the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, Mister. The synthetic truth added should be in my miscellaneous tab. I'm not going to read this, but I'll just leave it on the screen for anyone who wants to read this. You can pause it and read it. to hit that guy up sometime see if I can get a post-apocalyptic haircut all right I gotta find Valentine and then I'm probably gonna end the episode after I find him detective sometimes you gotta wonder does anyone fight back Institute has to have enemies right what you mean the railroad that's a fairy tale man they don't exist nah I heard Don't from my cousin. The wall he knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Right Follow here. the Let's Freedom go. Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it. That kind hmm. of talk is going to get you snatched up by the sense. That's hardcore that I just got a mission off that conversation so like that. Under all that armor? Free shopping right yeah, here. barely. Valentine Detective Agency. Coming in from the rain. Rage, you're too late. Office is closed. It's important. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll offer help. Skinny Malone. Who's this Skinny Malone character? 
I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. What is Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Huh. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Alright. I'll find him. Unlikely Valentine. Find Nick Valentine. Alright, everybody. I'm going to end the episode here. Me and Codsworth are going to go find Nick Valentine in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with friends. Hit the little bell notification to get updated whenever I post new episodes. And have a good one.